Hello guys and welcome to the LFC cast in association with LFConline.com. My name is Dan and I'm here with Greg. Hello, Greg. Hello, guys. Hello, Dan. Hello. What You're a win, right? eh, Greg? What a win. Yes, mate. Honestly, I'm chuffed, mate. What a great game. What a great game. 4-1. It was a home to Swansea and we was won 4-1. What a game. What a game. We're going to win the league, Greg. We're going to win the league. Uh, Without a doubt, mate. This is our season. <laughs> <laughs> this is our season. Uh, don't forget to like these videos, share these videos, and subscribe to the channel, guys. That would be great. And before we continue, we're going to say some score predictions from the previous video. Greg, what were the score predictions? Okay, so I've got them up here, Dan. We had quite a few score predictions, but there were just two who were the nearest, which okay. was Red Viking. Yeah. And the other one was Caesar Jimenez, and they both said 3-1, so they weren't exactly right, but they were pretty close. Cool. That's optimistic, and, you know, I never expected Liverpool to bag four goals. Um, well, three goals and Shelby with the extra fourth goal. Yeah. Um, so, Greg, how do you feel about the game? Did you enjoy it? What did you enjoy about it? Yeah, I thought we were great, you know, and yeah. I just love this new formation we've got and the, and the pace up front, and everyone seems to want to win that ball. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Emery Chan in defence, how good is he, Dan? Emery Chan, for me, has been a game-changer for us. He's solid in defence. You know, I think we can keep him there, Greg. I think Torre can be rested now. Uh, yeah. Keep Emery Chan in there. Sacco is also really good, but really erratic on the ball. Yeah. It's like... You know what, I, I thought he was really good, to be honest. Obviously, I did. there was a, a couple of mistakes by him, especially the one where they got their goal. Yeah. But... Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought him and Chan were great, you know, and what I really like about Chan is how calm and composed he looks on the ball. Definitely. And also, he's a big guy, but he's quick as well. And I don't know, just like 50-yard pass to um, Coutinho, wasn't it, yeah, who yeah. then went put it through to Moreno, you know. Yeah. Just, just brilliant, and he did another long pass like that. Definitely. Well, the build-up yeah. play to that first goal, Greg, was just outstanding. It was like the Liverpool of old, you know, from last season, where it was just pass, pass, make a run past the Henderson, make a run through to Moreno, who taps it in, Greg, and it was just Swansea, at times during that game for me, just didn't even know how to handle us. Yeah. Uh, it was we, just a great game. Definitely, we looked dangerous, and what I like about Moreno, he's fast, he gets forward there, yeah. but him going forward, I think causes that space for Coutinho as well, you know, yeah. a lot of the times, Moreno, the defence, were, were going towards him, and then Coutinho had all this space, it was brilliant. Which brings us on to Coutinho, I think, Greg, he's really coming into his own, Coutinho, and he's thriving in this position, in this formation. Uh, he's got a lot more space on the ball. He's what I like. I call Coutinho like a luxury player. You know, he's not amazing when we're struggling, but when we're playing well, he's stand out and he's genius. He's got freedom and he plays so much better when we're playing well. Definitely. Um, and he was potentially our man of the match. It could have been one other guy, Greg, and who do you think that is? Uh, Lalana, who's great as well, wasn't he? You know, yeah. the pair of them are just linking up really, really well. Yeah. And I think what going back to what you just said with Coutinho, I think it's that bit of magic he's got. Yeah, he may not. If we're not doing so well in the game, he may not always track back and yeah. do the dirty work. But he's got that ma magic that can make things happen in yeah. a game. Give him a yard of space, and he's so dangerous. I mean, it goes to show for the Lalana's uh, second goal. I think it was uh, Lalana's second goal when he back heeled it to him out of nowhere. And it was just Lovely great, that, it? and it just freed up Lalana just to run into the box. Uh, he's excellent, Greg. So and Lalana took it really well as well, you know. Yeah. And Coutinho, it was a well, it wasn't a similar flick, but it's another good flick in the last game as well with Sterling, wasn't it? Yeah, over the back of his head. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. So in all, I want to say about Lalana as well before we move on, Greg, is that his two goals for me showed both sides of his game. Yeah, and I read this on BBC that, and I completely agree that his first goal, where he ran and you know ran towards the keeper, yeah. bounced off him and went in. I know it wasn't a great technical goal, but it shows his determination. It shows you know he's willing to get stuck in and the chase second, everything down. Yeah, and the second goal shows his skill on the ball. He's just got, but he seems both footed to me. Yeah, do you know what I mean? He can score with any foot, and he's just an excellent player. Uh, Greg, who was your man of the match? Okay, well, it's definitely between them pair for me. Um, I think, I think I'm going to go for Lallana yeah. because of the couple of goals he got, and I've read a lot of people are saying Coutinho, which you know I don't disagree with as well. I thought, yeah, he was great. yeah. What do you think, Dan? I'm going to go for Coutinho, you know, because yeah. I just think Lallana. Don't get me wrong, if I, I could have easily chose Lallana, but Coutinho for me is just showing 
form at the moment. Brilliant on the ball, brilliant touch, and he's just he's making the other team play better because he's freeing everyone up. Uh, he's great for me, and it gives us a problem now, Greg, doesn't it? Because Gerard was rested last night. Yeah, and we kind of come into our own in a team without Gerard. What what happens? Do we bring him back in? Definitely. Well, that that's the decision, isn't it? You know, I think I think we should do, but not necessarily straight away. You know. Yeah bring him in, let him have a rest if need be. But what I thought was great is lately we've been looking like uncertain and a bit flat when Gerard's been on the bench and we've been waiting for him to come on. And it wasn't like that last night, which I'm a massive Stevie G fan, but I thought that was great. You know, we weren't looking for our captain. We weren't looking for Gerard to come on. No, I agree. Without him. So I thought that was a real, real positive. It's such a positive that we didn't have to rely on and we've got some individuals there who were doing great. And another one who a bit unsung, and I know I've criticised him quite a lot, Greg, was Henderson was on fire last night. He was controlling the game as much as Lallana and Coutinho. So he deserves his place as much as anyone. Um, so who do you drop at the moment? That's it. It's so difficult, isn't it? You know. Yeah. And then soon we're going to have Sturridge coming back as well. And then who do you, you drop know. up front? You take off Sterling or Lallana? You can't, can you? No, but I suppose that's the problem you want to have. You know, yeah. a couple of months ago we had the problem where players weren't performing. You know, yeah. and then who do you bring in? What do we do? But yeah, I prefer to have this problem than that one. I would completely. Uh, and also, Greg, let's talk a little bit about Shelby. Uh, Shelby elbowed Emery Chan early in the game and he could face action but on the other side of things Sterling la- lunged out and tried to punch a player <laughs> well slap a player Yeah. what do you think's going to happen with that Greg do you think both of them will get bans do you think it'll be left as it is or I hope it is left as it is for both I don't know I know we spoke about it earlier today Dan and like mm. Shelby's was just so much more dangerous wasn't it than yeah, Sterling yeah. Sterling I'm not you know I'm not saying it's right to do it's completely wrong Yeah. but it was only like a loose slap sort of yeah, it was a the slap side, back, wasn't the back it? Yeah. Of the head, back of the head, yeah, whereas Shelby and Elbow, you know, you can do a player damage with that. Yeah, so. I've heard reports that he might face action still, and which I'm a bit gutted about. Uh, but let's hope that gives Balot- Balotelli an opportunity to try and get a couple of goals. Because when he come on in the end of the game, I actually thought he, he played all right, Greg. You know, he had a couple of chances. He looked like he wanted to play. Uh, so let's keep him. Let's keep Balotelli, I'd say. Definitely. And the other thing for me, Dan, is top four. You know, I I was saying a couple of podcasts ago, you know, that's drifting away. We can't yeah. do it. We're only five points away from the top four now. I know, yeah. You know, it's it's mad that, isn't it? You know, it's so close in the middle of the table yeah. between a lot of teams. And it it's looks right. a lot more realistic if we can carry on this form. Yeah, and you know, uh, Arsenal play Southampton, don't they? Yes. So, if they get a draw in the next game, I'm sure they're playing each other next. I'll have to check that and verify it, but... If they get a draw and we get a win, we're only a few points off. Yeah. So Crazy well. times, Greg. Crazy times. Definitely. And if right. you think about it, Greg, we're only like 50 points off Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can do this, Dan. And the Champions League, we might go get back into it by someone gets disqualified or something. Do you know what? I hope no one listens just to the beginning bit of the podcast where it's saying, we're going to win the league and think, oh, these guys know nothing. Just switch it off. <laughs> they stop listening 50 seconds into the podcast. Yeah. It's just um, me and you now, Greg, and a tumbleweed. Yeah. <laughs> but do you know what? It's good to be excited and have that enthusiasm about us again because yeah. we've struggled, haven't we, for a few months? We've, we've struggled to do these podcasts and I'm sure you guys have struggled to listen, but you've persevered yeah. and so have we. But guys... Win, lose or draw, we'll still be here and we're all feeling great. Liverpool are doing really well at the moment and hopefully we can kick on and have a good second half of the season. Anything else, Greg? No, nothing for me, mate. Okay, well, thanks for listening, guys. You never walk alone. Cheers. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.